In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the New York Times Travel Show. It's an event that happened here last weekend in New York City, and I thought it would be fun to share with you guys since I do cover all things travel on this channel. Before I get into all the details, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. So for starters, if you have no idea what the New York Times Travel Show is, it's a three-day event that takes place here in New York City at the Javits Center. I believe this was the 17th year that this event has been taking place, and it's one of North America's largest travel shows with over 700 exhibitors, over 35,000 travel professionals and travelers attending, over 200 industry speakers and travel experts, and over 176 countries represented from all around the world. So this isn't my first time attending the New York Times Travel Show. I believe the first time I went was back in 2016. I remember seeing an advertisement for it and thought it would be really interesting to go because at that time I've never went to a travel show before. So I got a ticket and went on a Saturday and thought it was a, such a cool event and it was really fun and interesting. Entertaining. So if you're a person who loves to travel, who likes to learn about different destinations from all over the world, who likes to hear about different travel topics and attend seminars, if you like to sign up for sweepstakes, raffles, and contests and potentially win a free trip, if you like to see cultural entertainment, try some free samples of food, or if you have nothing going on this specific weekend, I highly recommend you checking out this event and attending the New York Times Travel Show. So as I mentioned, before it's a three-day event and I'm gonna break down each day so you guys can have kind of like a gist of what goes on each day so if you plan on coming to the New York Times travel show the following year you kind of know what to expect when going into it so let's get started so the New York Times travel show kicks off on Friday this is the first official day of the event and it's reserved for travel professionals and the media this is also known as trade day slash industry day and this is my first year attending this particular day of the New York Times Travel Show. It is a full-blown all-day event. There's so much going on. There's keynotes, seminars, press conferences, and so much more going on. And of course, the ribbon cutting of opening the exhibition floor. So basically this day, you're just listening to lots of 2020 travel trends, marketing and business stuff within the tourism industry. You're going to be listening to a lot of keynote speakers, seminars, press conferences, and just there's a lot going on. So if it's your first I'm attending this particular day of the event I would definitely recommend going in with the game plan and kind of knowing which seminar or session you plan to attend and sometimes these sessions overlap each other and they are in different rooms and just making sure you attend the ones that interest you this is a great opportunity to network and connect with people within the travel industry as well as catch up with your friends that you made along the way I highly recommend bringing business cards and just connecting to whoever crosses your path and I had an amazing time meeting other people within the media, especially getting to know more Latina travel bloggers, travel journalists, writers, authors, TV hosts, and so on and so forth. And I want to say this, that if you are a person of color, please show up to these industry events. I feel like there is a lack of diversity. There is just a handful of people there that I saw that were people of color. I think it's really important to show up to these industry events and be that representation. So that's all I'm gonna say about that, but I did write a little bit more about this in my blog post. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have that linked down below. But all in all, it's a very informative day. I really learned a lot. So that's an inside look of what happens during trade day, if you guys were curious. Now. Saturday and Sunday are known as consumer days so you can come anyone and everyone can attend this event on Saturday and Sunday as long as you purchase a ticket the tickets to this event are very affordable I believe Saturday it's $20 but if you want to attend Saturday and Sunday it will be $25 children they are able to enter for free the tickets are affordable but if you want an additional discount sometimes you can find the tickets on Groupon so check that out so Saturday and Sunday is also jam-packed with a lot of things 
things going on throughout the day so as soon as you enter the Javits Center you can grab a free tote that is provided to everyone who attends the New York Times travel show inside the tote it has a lot of information and brochures and pamphlets on this year's sponsors so as you continue to walk into the Javits Center you'll see lots of booths and you can print out your ticket and you'll be wearing a necklace with a badge with all your information on it so you need that to enter the actual exhibition floor or they won't let you in so once you enter the exhibition floor you're gonna see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of booths there it can be overwhelming but they are divided by a region so if you are interested in one particular region you can just head that way but this area it feels like you're literally walking around the world because honestly there's so many booths representing all parts of the world so not only are there booths but there are also stages placed around the exhibition floor they have tons of things that are going on during different times so they do have a schedule for each stage so if something interests you just make sure you go at that specific time because they have cultural dances they have singers they have so much going on so definitely check that out and there's also a stage where you get to see chefs from all around the world prepare a particular dish from that country they do like a cooking demonstration and at the end they do give samples so while you're walking around the different booths a lot of people run to the ones that have those contests and raffles and sweepstakes because a lot of them do give away free trips free airline tickets free cruise trips like whatever they are giving away a lot of people run to those first and usually you'll see a line of people in that particular booth because people are signing up for that because you never know you could be lucky that day and win a free trip or win something that day so if you do plan on taking a trip this year and you do book a trip with a cruise line or a group tour on the spot at the New York Times travel show you do get a good discount also if you've never traveled before this is a great way to get inspiration for future trips also if you don't have a passport there is a passport service pop-up and they just help you with the process if you've never had a passport before or if you need to renew your passport I'm not even going to sugarcoat it but it gets super super busy here there's thousands of people who come here throughout the day so a bit tight walking by certain booths but that's just what it is when you go to events like this um just be very comfortable in the shoes that you're wearing um there are seating areas around the javits center so if you want to take a break you could definitely just chill out and sit down for a little bit so while all that is going on in the exhibition floor there's also stuff going on downstairs where you can actually go to travel seminars and just listen about different topics by travel experts you can hear about how to travel on a budget learn about points and miles and also meet travel authors there are a few travel authors that attend this event that sell their books so you can actually meet them buy a book and get it signed by them so I think that's really cool as well but just keep in mind that if you want to attend these events that are happening downstairs just keep an eye out for the schedule so you don't miss it like I said as much as there's going on upstairs there's a lot going on downstairs so you just have to know and have a game plan as well if you are trying to see a certain performance or if you just want to listen to a certain topic like you just have to pick and choose what you want to attend at what time so this can definitely take up a lot of your day you could spend hours just walking around and stuff but if you do get hungry some booths do give some tasting of a specific dish from that particular country as well as some wine tasting cheese tasting pasta even some chocolate liqueur like there's so much that is given out you just have to look for it but if you want more of a meal or something to just refresh yourself up there is a Starbucks right outside the exhibition area and downstairs there are a few food eateries that you can check out and get actual food or you can just walk outside the Javits Center and find a restaurant also if you're coming with family there are lots of activities for specific the kids to enjoy as well I saw lots of balloon animal making face painting and crafts for the kids to entertain themselves there's also an LGBT pavilion area so if you want to check out LGBT travel there's tons of information on that as well so as you can see it's a full weekend of valuable information entertainment food sampling and overall lots of fun 
hope you guys thought this video was helpful and let me know in the comments down below if you've ever attended the New York Times travel show before or plan to attend next year. If you recommend another travel show that I should check out, let me know as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video. Ciao!